Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. So, I candled my eggs the other day and I saw some interesting things and I wanted to show you guys what I saw. I only have three eggs that appear to be good, so I'm gonna try and do that on video. We're gonna go in the room, shut the lights, put the flashlight up to the eggs, and hopefully you can see what I saw, so stay tuned, it's gonna be a good video. So the tricky part is, if you just put the light right on the egg, you're not going to see anything. You try and got to position it so that the light is beaming through the egg and you can see what's inside. So if you look right there straight, it's hard to see on camera, but there's veins right there. Let's see if I can get another angle. So you can see slight veins. Now, this is how it looks on camera. If you actually look in person, you see the veins, it's more prominent. Now this egg I had to take out of the bin because the way it was propped in the bedding, you wouldn't be able to see. But check that out. You can get a real good view of the veins like this. And that's what a good egg looks like. You see the veins? And I'm going to do this again in a couple of weeks and see if it changes. So that was the egg that I just showed you. And you just want to make sure you put it back in the same position that it was in. Now, I should have labeled and made a little dot on the top of each egg, but I didn't. But it's all right. I know the exact positioning it is. So this was the first egg I showed you. So these two were good. And this one I candled yesterday and I didn't see anything in it. So we're going to check again. But as of now, I don't believe this is a good egg. Even though it looks the same as the other two, it looks like a good egg, but let's check it out. So if you look closely, you just see like a yellow fluid. There's no veins at all. There's nothing really going on in this egg. So that's probably what an infertile egg would look like. And we're gonna hold on to this egg because it looks good. Maybe it just has, it's a late, a late bloomer. But um, I did speak to a breeder and they told me when that happens, usually those will stay good looking for a little while and then you'll notice they'll just start to rot away. So we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna give up on that one egg, but we definitely have two good eggs. So two is better than none. So what happens after your female snake lays eggs? She's going to be tired for a couple of days, up to about a week or so. She might not move around much. She might not eat pumpkin eight, but paprika didn't eat. And um, she just stayed balled up for about almost a week. Then she started eating and shed. Now they're back to their normal selves, running around and just uh, getting ready, getting ready for the next breeding season. So they're looking pretty sharp right now. and. If I'm lucky, maybe they'll still double clutch, but uh, I don't know what's going to happen. So the eggs are looking good. One egg might not be good, but at least I got two good eggs. And pumpkin, paprika, and everybody's looking really good. From what I see, I don't believe that they're going to double clutch. They don't look any bigger. I felt for eggs, I didn't feel anything. But um, it's been a couple of weeks, so maybe they're still going to double clutch. And, you know, that's one of the struggles about becoming a breeder you know before getting into this i already had thought i was gonna have x amount of this x amount of that and 
things didn't work out as planned. So that's one of the learning curves when you're doing this. Sometimes you might get lucky the first time. And um, I think I got lucky because it was just a gained experience. I'm not really taking any losses from it. And it's a passion of mine to do this. So I actually have a couple of good eggs. And next year I'm gonna see, I might switch some things up and see if I could try and figure out how to improve so I don't get as many slugs. But speaking to a lot of breeders, it seems like sometimes first time breeders will just give a lot of infertile eggs. Um, not always, but sometimes. And sometimes snakes just lay a lot of slugs. And you know, we don't always know why. Sometimes we could guess, but we don't know exactly why. And I was trying to talk to some people because I'm thinking about in the wild, the snakes that are outdoors, do they do they lay a lot of infertile slug eggs as well? And from what I hear, um, there's no real proof that they are. So is it the conditions that they're in that um, influences whether they give good eggs or bad eggs? That's what I'm trying to get at. You know, maybe if you, if you can improve the conditions for the female, especially while she's about to have eggs, it might improve the chances of having perfect clutches so I'm gonna try and study that again I'm just starting out so I got a long ways to go and I hope you guys learned something enjoyed the video and I got some good videos coming up I have Recti chip coming in the mail any day now I'm gonna be using that for some of my snakes with the shedding issues and I have the bins I ordered if you watched my other video I had ordered some bins and they sent me a couple of the incorrect sizes so I was tracking it and tomorrow the correct bins will be here. It's only two. So we'll be upgrading those. I'll probably do a video tomorrow. And if I don't see you guys before 4th of July, be safe. Don't blow yourself up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.